Hey, I'm back again. Um, traveling a little road here. It's called uh, Peak Road. My son always calls it, you know, going through the woods because he likes to ride with me when I take the trash off. But I've been having some problems with this truck. Um, AutoZone sold me the wrong set of brakes. You sort of twice. And uh, after three or four days, you hit the brakes and it just spit them out because they kind of clip onto the rotor on the outside of it. it. I hadn't really fooled with nothing quite like it, but, you know, I was like, well, okay, maybe I'm just too stupid to figure it out, but I don't think, you know, it's that difficult. So I took it to the guy and had them done, and he informed me that they had given me the wrong brakes. So, you know, either way, it's done, it's over with. I shouldn't have to worry about my brakes going out in the road again or whatever. It's kind of a scary feeling when you're going down there and you hit your brakes and then you just feel a, like, you know, hard pressure, then it pops and you have nothing. You can hear your brake pad clinging down the damn road and you're like, dear Lord, here we go. You know, you ain't got no brakes for like 15 seconds or, you know, it's not a pleasant feeling. <laughs> just imagine. That's happened to me like three times now because I lost both of them after I changed them the first time. And I didn't know what it was because I've got like the bullet hole rims in this truck. You can't really look and see your rotor and caliper and all that too good. And I was like, okay, I left air in them because I had to change the caliper. And well, turns out, no, I was spitting brake shoes and I couldn't figure out what the clinging was. Now I know. But, uh, yeah. Continuing on. Let's see, what kind of tales can we tell now? I can tell you about the time. There was a time in my life there. I lived with some buddies of mine. I'll keep their identity secret. Don't tell no names or whatever. I ain't going to go into it, but we, the whole time I lived there, I mean, I was a deadbeat. I won't lie to you. I spent nearly a year with them fellas and that's childhood friends of mine. They had a you know, business doing crafts and birdhouses and stuff like that. <coughs> and they had a couple delinquents, which what I was being at this time in my life was a delinquent. Living with them for room and board and beer and liquor and just partying. And you know, get up in the morning, we go build birdhouses, we go to the craft show, sell them, you know, you live with me, you know, slave labor, you know, and you, we party all the time. Okay, well, you know, it's your dime. I don't care to work. You know, you're feeding me, we're good. But, uh, this one time in an instance, there's another friend of ours we had there. He, uh, kind of lived close to him. I mean, he's a he was an all right guy at times, but he just had a bad knack for getting in trouble. And if he drinks, he wants to fight. And uh, usually when this guy's around, it was trouble. But, you know, he lived with us. I mean, he'd stir trouble. We'd bail him out. Long. But, you know, it was good times, what it was. <coughs> this time in particular, we're uh, been riding horses that day. We're all about hand slammer drunk and uh right before dark it was summertime so it's probably about you know 8 eight thirty. It's getting dusky i guess i mean we was already about twisted honestly it was um this kid comes up through there didn't know the kid myself too good but he was a neighborhood kid from where we lived there um out in johnson county tennessee out around the lake so community notice dry hill but um he's a neighborhood kid there and he liked to party and i think he liked to do pills and stuff and we figured well he's doped up and he's flying up the road and he slides around the curve and you know scares the crap out of the horses and we're drunk rock you sob you know and cussing raising cane at him <coughs> well he goes on down the road and we're like that's all right he'll be back that's right we know that boy's coming back. So, what do we do? We sit there and proceed to get drunker. Okay? We just plumb, stupid, cross-eyed, drunk. And about 11, 11.30 at night, 
guy comes back up the road. I mean, the road kind of winds a ways. You can kind of see where he's coming from across the other side of the little valley lot. Ah, oh, there he is. You can tell it because he had this like 92, 93 model Cadillac. The Coupe de Ville, the big bastard. But, uh, he had one of them and I was like, there he is, you know. So we all get out and road. We're big and bad. And, uh, we stand like five abreast across the road. It's me, uh, my two buddies I was living with, the one guy that starts trouble, and another one of our buddies that lived there. Uh, her out across the road. My one buddy, that guy stops, you know, what's going on? My one buddy jerks the door open, starts cramming that finger, and it's like, you mother, -la 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 -la. I'm sorry, I'm going to tell y'all now, I try not to cuss too much on these videos, sometimes stuff comes out, and I don't know how to edit, so I apologize now, but, uh, you know, you GD and SOB, la 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 la, and, uh, you know, my other buddies, it's there. He reaches over top of my buddy cussing him, the one that starts trouble, reaches over top of my buddy that's cussing him, and grabs this dude by the hair of the head and tries to start dragging him out, like punch him in the face, and dude slams it up in reverse and starts backing up. And, uh, you know, my two buddies are standing there, and the door's coming towards them, I'm like, okay, this dude's going to mow him over the door, I'm like, drag him under the door and hurt him. So I'm like, get in, stop, and then... You know, I kind of run up and just slam the top of his hood of everything I had, you know, and dented his hood pretty good. And he kind of so you know, slows up for a second, and they roll out of the way, and he uh, guns it on back, goes back probably 50 or 60 feet. And like I said, I'm drunk, stupid, I probably could have got out of the way. And then he slams it down the drive and guns it, and... Uh, who knows how much speed he built up in the 60 or 70 feet, 50 feet, whatever he was away from me. I like to think he probably got it up to about 30 or 40. Runs me over, breaks my ankle in six places, rolls me up on the hood, up over the windshield and off in the ditch. So, you know, there's another, well, here I am. I'm laying here crippled again moment. But uh, just another moment for me. Uh, hell, that's like the third video I've made already. We're doing good. I'm here at the trash dump. I'm going to pull in here and throw this stuff out. And I'll holler at y'all in a minute. Peace out.